Hello guys. Okay, so I just want to show you how I went with my jar, jar soil test and uh, I'm not going to go into too much details about the soil taps. You know, you can find all this stuff in the internet. There's plenty of information there. Um, so I'm just going to tell you about three major types of soil. So you have sand, we have loam and clay. You now sand is might be a bit more acidic, have a really good drainage uh, and even Though it has such a good drainage sometimes it's a problem because it can wash the nutrients much faster so you shouldn't be watering this with uh, large quantities of water at once you, you should rather um, water a bit less but but but, but a bit more often um, and that's going to be sand I guess. yeah that's that's going to be sand. oh so you can work with this soil much faster after the heavy rain you know because you're not going to destroy the soil structure loam is the middle ground so it holds to the nutrients, uh, it has really good drainage and you know, the best of all, um, at least that's what I read. <laughs> now, uh, clay. Clay is might be a bit more alkaline, um, doesn't have a, such a good drainage, so if you have plants that don't like heavy feet, you know, especially the fruit bushes, like grape wine, uh, maybe grape wines, grape wines, the raspberries and so forth, um, also, you shouldn't work with the soil straight after the rain because you might uh, create big clumps that are going to stay there and you're going to destroy the soil structure this way. Um, but it holds the nutrients really well. So you don't have to, you, for example, with sand, sandy soil you might need to add a bit more compost during throughout the season uh, or some fertilizer um, with clay. Uh, you might not need to do it. Anyway. That's it. Let's go. Let's go into the soil test. Let me show you how I've done it. I took samples from three different places. The one that you can see on the screen right now is me taking samples from the plot. And I presume I was thinking about the time that the soil is really nice to work with. You know, I thought there might be a lot of sand in it. Now, the second sample was taken from my back garden, and that's where I was adding uh, compost. For the last two years, so I expect some of some uh, some some organic matter in it. Uh, and the third sample was from the front garden, uh, which is not on the video, uh, but the soil is very poor. It was under the uh, um, the layer of gravel, and it's really hard clay, as far as I can say. So you know, we're just gonna see how it will come up with the soil test. Okay, so once you fill up your jars with one third of the soil, uh, top it up with the water, add some uh, dishwasher liquid or washing liquid or any kind of detergent because it will help you separate the soil particles and make your test a bit more accurate. Then close the jar and shake it very well for like one, two minutes. And this is just to make sure that you're not going to have any clumps of soil in it. Uh, then take the marker and put the jar on the table, any kind of surface. And after one or two minutes, mark the spot where the sand layer is going to be, because the sand has biggest pa particles, they're going to land in the first order. Then after th six hours, mark the second layer, which is going to be sealed, and then wait for another 24 hours and the third layer is supposed to be clay. So um, let me show you how it looked like looked like in my case. Okay, so the sample you can see on the screen is from the front garden, which I've told you previously that I think is the heavy clay. And as you can see, there is a small layer of sand at the bottom, and then most of the most of the um, layer at the top, I think it's clay. And you know you cannot see the particles between sand and clay. You know the middle ground. I, I cannot really see it here. Uh, and also, what's strange is that the clay layer settled just after six hours. Most instructions gonna tell you you have to wait 24 hours, but this settled much faster. So it's definitely a clay soil that I have in the front garden. Now the second sample is from the back garden, and that's the place where I've been adding uh, compost for the last two years. So you can see a small layer of sand, you know, the lighter layer at the bottom. You can see some bigger particles and you can see organic matter at the top. 
Um, so I guess that makes sense because I was just putting I'm putting compost at the top of the soil. I'm not even mixing up uh, the soil. I'm just literally putting the compost on top. So you know, effectively, I cannot even see the clay clay, clay uh, layer here. I think it might be 50/50 sand with sealed at that point. Now the third sample is the most interesting one, at least the, for me, because it's from my plot. Okay, so uh, as you can see on this sample, I mark the layer of so sand from the bottom, which is the biggest one. Then I think I, I can differentiate the sealed layer finally, because it's you see it's a bit finer than the sand, but you still can see particles as opposed to the top layer, which I think is clay. So let's go a step further with this, uh, uh, with this sample, and let's try to find out uh, what type of soil it is exactly. And also I will show you how to count the percentage. Right, so this is our first sample. We have sand, silt, clay. So how are you going to go about measuring each layer, right? You, we need to grab the ruler, ruler, put it against the jar, and then pick up the uh, height of the whole sample, right? In my case it was 5.7 centimeters. Then you check each layer, uh, so it's going to be 3.5 for sand, 1 centimeter for silt and 1.2 for clay. And then we try to count percentage, right? So it's just like in high school guys, we have a 3.5 centimeter and we divide it by the whole sample which in my case is 5.7 and then we then we go 61 po uh, times 100 and then we have percentage right so that's going to be sand then the sealed came up with 17 and we do the same with clay which came up with 21 so effectively you have clay 21 sealed 17 and sand 61 right now we're going to move to something called soil texture pyramid okay now let me show you how we we're gonna go about it. So it took me so, so a bit a bit to figure out how it works, but um, let's just get these measurements here. Right. So as you can see, we have you have three sides. So we have clay, sealed, and sand. And what you want to do is just uh, uh, mark the spot where all these three. Um, types of soil will cross and at that point it will show you the type of soil that you might have right so in our case it was 17% of silt it was 21% uh, of clay and we say I have 60% of sand which crossed at sandy clay loam and that's it that's how you find your type type of soil so uh, yeah i hope it was useful guys um you know i hope that after this video you'll be able to do it straight away and as i said you know there is plenty of information on the internet about the si type of soil that you're gonna find here uh, and i think it's worth to do it because you know at the end the soil is the most important part of the, your garden right so give it a try and if you have any questions uh, make sure to let me know in comments take care everyone bye